Hey, what is up guys? So here I am back at the gem mine. I know that I made a similar video a few months ago, but in that video I was collecting the main gems from sapphire all the way up to diamond and red topaz as well. The main idea was to get as many sapphires so I can make as many recoil rings for Zalra. Because at the time I didn't know that I can get many trading sticks. So what I did is I dropped the junk gems like opal and jade. I did not collect them. And the reason why is because bank was so far away. This is the mine and I had to walk all the way to the bank and then all the way back. So obviously I want to fill my inventory with a little bit more precious gems. Like, you know, sapphires or emeralds or something. Well, now they updated the ladder. You can go down here. Uh, well, we had this. We had this previously. But now we have this. We have deposit box. So you walk around this place. You mine all, like, full inventory. And then you deposit everything straight to the bank. So there is no need to drop those junk gems, even though they're not junk. Now just take a look at the amount of gems that I have. And if I was only collecting the main ones, I would end up with a decent amount, I guess. But I would be missing 1.1k jade and opal combined, which is a huge number. This is like a lot of trading sticks. And we're gonna find out exactly how many how many trading sticks this is gonna be. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut all of these gems. I'll be right back. So the main thing I'm looking at right now is how many trading sticks I'm going to get from all of these gems. And I wanna compare the trading sticks to experience ratio because all of these gems were obtained in 100,000 mining experience. So this is the Taibu one I place. I'm gonna trade this guy and I'm gonna sell five of these. I think it's 20 opals and 10 jade. And I'm just gonna hop worlds. You can see I got already 2.1k trading sticks. Just hopefully no one else is selling these because, uh, you know, because you cannot sell too many because the more you sell, the price will go down and down. Let's say right now it's what, gonna buy for 40. If I sell 10 more, now it's gonna buy for 20. So we have to keep hopping worlds. And this is gonna be the last world. I guess I should have price checked all of these gems before I started selling. But the main purpose is uh, for Iron Man. This is mainly for Iron Man to see how many trading sticks you're going to get. Because you know what? That is a lot of trading sticks. 66,000 that I got from only 100k mining experience. So you buy full inventory of Karam ones by using GP. And this is where we're gonna use trading sticks. This guy can send items to your bank. 10 trading sticks per item or 260 per full inventory or 26 items in this case. Like, holy shit, this is going to be insane amount of Conum 1. Just think about this. 100k mining experience is going to give me 6,500 Conum 1s right there. Now imagine if I got 1 million experience instead. That would be 65,000 Conum 1. That's almost a lifetime supply of Conum 1s. Okay, so I actually had some problems buying Karam ones because people would buy them out, like actual people, not bots, because I would go to skill total level, like even 1,500 still would be always bought out. So someone's buying, I actually examined his total level and it's not 2,000, but you know who has 2,000? Me. Look at that, 2,000 total level now. And a combat level 122, that is amazing. You see, there are two people. This is a regular world, but there are two people. It's bought out completely. Now, I could go to PvP worlds. I'm pretty sure PvP worlds are... They, it's always in stock as nobody really goes there. But, you know, it's dangerous. You may die. I have I have all my trading sticks and money in my inventory. I'm not going to do that. So, let's first of all, let's go to this skill total level. This one was uh, okay. This one was good. It was... Oh, I thought it was someone else. That was just me. Ten... 10. It's always going to be 10. Now, what about 2,000 2, total levels? Let's log into that because I need three worlds. Three worlds because there's only 10 kind of ones in stock. This one is also in stock. And one more. I'm pretty sure this one will be also in stock. Yep. So, they. oh my god. I love 2,000 world total levels J just because there are two of them. You know, you have only one 1,250, one 1,500, 1,750, but two 2000 this is the highest tier and you got two of them fucking amazing okay so i'll be back once i use all of my trading sticks okay someone is in 2000 total worlds now it's been like a few times now since uh i go to the shop and i found that there are zero in stock or very few you see three kind of ones three there's somebody's buying in 2000 worlds i literally cannot cannot uh i cannot buy anymore 
I have 33,000 sticks left. And there we go. That's the guy. That is the guy who is buying all. And he logged off. Uh, <laughs> what world was this? Uh, this was 361. And that is a 2,000 total level. So yeah, unfortunately, this is where it's going to have to end. Otherwise, this video will not be uploaded today. So let's just quickly teleport to the bank. And let's see how many I've got so far. I think it's going to be over. Well, it's going to be close to 3,000, I think. So let's see. Cut them one. 3,000. 200 kind of one which is 3.4 million but i'm sure if you cook them it will be a little bit more how much is this let's say examine let's examine both of them so a cooked one is 1.3k a raw one is one point it's not even 1.1k so you can make money by cooking kind of one though i think you can make money by cooking most of the fish Okay, but you got the main idea of this video. This is extremely good for Iron Man because it's only 100k mining experience. If you're using Amulet of Glory, because that's what you need when you're mining to mine much faster, it's going to take you just two hours to get enough trading sticks for 6,500 Conum 1. So thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it and bye. I'll see you later.